Hello, this is John D. Callahan, and I'm cleaning the pool today. It's April. First thing, first thing I did was pump out the vast majority of the water with this pump here. And then I use this little utility pump to get the last amount of water out. And then I soaked up the little that was left of water with towels. It wasn't much and got it out. Then I sweeped the debris up with the broom. And now I'm ready to power wash. First thing to do is soak the, uh, soak the stains with detergent. And here's my power washer. It's all loaded up with detergent. Whoops. So I'm going to be spraying it in just a moment. Then I let it set 10 minutes. And then I put the high power nozzle on here. And hopefully that'll take up the stains and the dirt. All right, I'm... All right, I'm done power washing or pressure washing as it is also referred to the pool and um, the, this, the dispenser didn't work for the cleaning agent, but it didn't matter because some of the t uh, stains were quite tough and I had to use the um, cleaning agent straight. So it, it came out real well, and I am now about to do some patching, and then we will fill fill up the pool. So, again, I'm about, I'm about to patch some of these small holes. There just seem to be several small holes. Not a great number, but a several. And I'm gonna try to get, get a lot of them. You can see where Quite a bit of patching has already been done. So I got my got my patching material. I'm gonna mix it up. Have something to kneel on. So I had a hard time finding a patching material. I had quick right cement, quick scent cement but the color is not very good and it's not that easy to work with you have to mix it so this is some water I had out to mix so I went over to look for a product as a patching material and I called a pool supply a store and they had some plaster but it wasn't in stock and then I looked online I didn't find anything that great and then I went to Lowe's and I looked around Lowe's, and this is what I decided on. Um, ready mix uh, stucco patch. And it's very easy to work with. This was only nine bucks, by the way. And 
you just scoop out a little and put it in the hole and you can you can hardly see it but I yeah you can hardly see it but but this is it here I patched a hole right there so I'm gonna go around and it doesn't say you can't use it underwater and these are just small holes so I and it, I think it'll work satisfactorily All right, we're filling the pool now. Looks great. It's almost full now. We got water from the front and I ran water. Well, I ran water from the front and we have water in the back. It should be it should be done pretty soon. And we'll fire it up. And then we need to get the heater running. Everything will probably work except the heater, which failed last year, but it's still under warranty for the next week anyway. So that's, that's where we are today on April 25th, 2023. All right, it's uh it's time it's time to fire the system up. So we got the pool all full of water. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to do the breakers and then I'll turn the turn the pump on here it's the main pump and everything should work fine here's the filter I don't think I'll need to backwash it but if I do I'll be ready and then we'll get uh, everything going I'll put some chemicals in and then I'll try the heater and document why it's not uh, working or what the um, nature of the problem is. <laughs> 